Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. Um, I am currently getting ready. It's like 8 a.m. Today, um, I have to take my car in to get some estimates. And then um, I was going to go to walk, but I woke up like 30 minutes too late. And I just don't know if I'm going to have time for that. So that's my bad, which I hate when I do that. Um, and then I'm recording a podcast at noon. And then I'm trying Barry's boot camp for the first time. Kinsey and I are going. I've heard amazing things about it, so I really wanted to try it. It's really great having like workout friends because they're all like down, you know? And then I need to come back home and like do some laundry and clean up my room and whatever. Um, and like finish up some stuff because Bethel conference starts tomorrow night and tomorrow I have plans during the day. So I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done tonight and be productive like laundry and like not that fun of stuff to do but that is what is on the agenda for today i'll probably include a little bit of like tomorrow morning in the vlog because i'm actually working out with paulina tomorrow morning which i'm really excited for paulina and i haven't like hung out or talked in like literally it's been, like two years i think we were on the phone the other night for like two hours so i'm like really excited to see her and to work out and stuff i'll vlog that but like i'm not gonna vlog the rest of tomorrow so if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Um, it's pretty much all I have for you guys right now. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I have my bag for the gym tonight all packed up. And I'm going to put my laptop and stuff in here because I don't want to have to bring a backpack. I don't know. I don't want 17 bags, so whatever. So basically everything's in here. Um, I just don't want to have to bring 17 bags. This bag is literally the best thing that ever happened to me. It's juicy and I love it. Okay, so here's my outfit for today. I just threw this jacket on because it's a little bit chilly. Um, I'm going to take the jacket off. Actually, I'll show you without the jacket. So I don't know where my jewelry is from. I think these earrings are Princess Polly and the cross necklace is Princess Polly. The stars are probably Brandy Melville. That's just a guess, but I think it's right. My top is from Aritzia, and then I have some biker shorts on from Aritzia. I'm going to put on my Adidas Falcons, but they're in my car, so I don't have them right now. And then I did, like, my two-minute makeup look, but I also, yesterday, I bought, like, Yeezy 700s. I don't know. I saw them online, and I really liked them. I didn't even know that. I, like, know nothing about any of that. I just don't care, but I didn't even know... Well, I guess I did know that you're easy. I don't know. I never really cared to buy you these, but I did like these. So I bought them, and I don't know when they're going to be getting here, but they would be perfect for this outfit. And they're, like, the better version of, like, Falcons, basically. They look very similar. And if I wear those shoes, like, as much as I have, like, I might as well buy, like, a nicer pair of them. You know what I'm saying? So I did that, but I'm going to head out to a body shop and... Get some estimates. This is so fun. I have my coffee, my purse, I just put those in here, and then I have my iPad. I do so much off of this thing. Literally, it's my entire life. I just, it's the best thing ever. Okay, I'm finally ready to go. I have my coffee. I have my gym bag, all my, la my laptop, my iPad, everything ready for today. I'm going to go to two auto shops to get, ooh. Oh my gosh, guys, my shoes have been shipped. They're gonna get here on Friday, that's so exciting. So I'm like not excited for this, it's like a very adult morning of something that I don't wanna do and I've been putting off like all week. So I'm gonna go do that. Just be an adult, you know, it's like so fun. Love I just got off the phone with um, the insurance company. So literally like in December, I sideswiped a car, but it was like literally night before the worst day of my life. So like I have not gone back to do it. And I'm getting taken care of and then also someone else in my car not good so all that's getting taken care of so anyways I was on the phone with their insurance company getting all that figured out and I'm such an adult but it's only 9 50 a.m. this happened this all went like by way quicker than I way quicker than I thought so I think I am gonna take Coco on a little walk before I head off to the studio I am really excited for today. I'm actually, I was going to record with Alexa Losey, but we, we we moved that. But I'm also recording with a therapist, which I feel like is going to be such an awesome episode and, like, just really cool. I feel like a lot of people have a lot of questions, and it's, like, a very easy, like, accessible um, thing. And I'm so excited to see Taylor. I'm always so excited to go to the studio. So, I'm going to do that. I'm actually also going to text Kenzie and be like, do you want to work? Okay, 
Okay, so I'm on my way to the studio. I'm gonna stop at Sweet Green and get lunch that I can bring to the studio because I'll be there for two hours. I just like, you know, when you're in the mood, like, you know, when you know you're gonna be hungry, but nothing sounds good. Not even Sweet Green sounds good right now, and that's like literally my favorite place to eat in LA. The Hollywood Bowl is the best thing ever, and I'm sure it's really bad for y'all. I'm gonna ask Kinsey today, and I'm already bracing myself. I'm talking about Kinsey Burke, by the way. Um, if you guys watched the last vlog, if you guys watched Ma Maggie's vlogs, Kinsey Burke is the food combining wellness gal that we all love. And anyways, watch yesterday's vlog to like whatever, but we're meeting up today to like do work after. So anyways, I'm gonna go get some sweet green and head off to the studio. <laughs> Here we go. Having a little lunch break on the rooftop. My favorite salad in the world, the Hollywood Bowl. This is beautiful. Wow. Guys, we're in a new studio. This is my guest. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Guyana. I'm a marriage and family therapist, and I specialize in couples. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> As a, if I was like dating someone, it would have been so funny, but you know, I didn't do that one. So we're in the studios. Taylor is really hard at work right there. Always working. Always working, and we have some. Oh my gosh, we have some nice blue bottle. Taylor, I was booking guests. Like, you, this is actually really funny. I was booking guests the other day, and I was like, okay, well, we had to move it because I want to make sure Taylor's in the studio. And then they listened to Michael and Lauren, and they were like, oh my god, is this the Taylor who like peed on himself around over in the wedding? Yeah, it was, it was a wild night in, in, yeah. in Mexico. Yeah, so there we go. It's all over. He really has a following himself. I do. I've been on, I've been on a lot of their episodes, and it's, mm -hmm. trust me, people have all, I get Instagram, and like, you should create your own podcast. I'm like, I have the resources, I haven't done it, but. You honestly should, Taylor. It'd be really funny. I always, I, I think about that people, have, have, which I agree, they say you should just do it. Come and record a couple of them and see if you like it. So I'm, I might try it specifically just to You see. honestly should, and it would be kind of cool because it's like, like, you have like the real inside scoop on everything else too. Yeah, that is true. So it's like behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah, the, I, I was thinking Michael even once said you, what we should do is do you should do like an after show after their show. Like oh. the team combination do like an after show. That'd and be like, really, oh, that's actually a good idea. That would do really well. And people on there like love you. Like, okay, I think we're ready to go. Okay, cool. Guys, I'm already having such an amazing day. Like literally the best day ever. I'm always in like the absolute best mood whenever I leave the office and I was like talking to Michael and Taylor and I hadn't seen them like since the whole Forbes thing and we were just like we were being so like obnoxious about it Taylor and I more specifically they just had Jessica Alba on which is cool though so I need to listen to the episode today I'm on my way to Joe and the Juice to meet Kenzie to get some work done um, it's funny because in the studio, Taylor, Taylor's my producer, for those of you who don't know, Tails you die on Instagram, guys, go follow him, he's so funny, and if you guys listen to Skinny Confidential, it's the same Taylor, but, um, he, uh, normally, I have, like, 15 Taylors in my life, so, like, normally, it's an issue with having too many Taylors, and now, Kenzie's gonna come to the studio, and there's gonna be too many Kenzies, and it's just a lot, so, Anyways, I'm meeting her at Joe and the Juice. We're gonna get some work done and then we are going to go to Berries. And I haven't tried Berries before, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I love rain, I love life. Okay, I'm just like literally, I'm so happy. Okay. All right, so I need to get some stuff out of my gym bag. This is very, I like literally love this gym bag. It's my life at this point. Thank you. Thank you. Back with Kinsey. We just finished working. Oh wow, at Joe and the Juice. I'm like, okay, no ticket. That's so weird. They just aren't charging for parking tonight. Um, do you want to just drive together? Or do you want to drive? I'm scared. Uh, yeah, that's true. Actually, I okay, don't never mind. Right. I don't trust it either. Melrose isn't normal. No, it's literally not normal. <laughs> We're on our way to, or we're leaving to go to Barry's right now. It's my first Barry's class. This card's gonna hit me. Update, guys. Parking sucked. It was really, we were really stressed out for a second. Like, it was stressful. It was very really stressful. We made it. Here we go. Just finished Barry's. It was a really good workout. It was tough. There's a lot of running, and 
then basically we spent half the time running I think we did like two miles with interval sprints and then it was just like weights um, basically it was really fun I honestly I like the vibe of berries more I don't think I really like that location like I'd be willing to go to a different location and I think I'd like any location better than that one the parking like sucked the garage was so annoying and I don't know like I feel like I would just like the other locations better than that one. It was a really good workout. Um, it's pretty comparable to Orange Theory minus the rower. Um, I think I like Orange Theory better still, but I did really like berries and Kenzie and I had fun. So anyways, I'm also trying a new workout class in the morning you guys will see that I haven't done Rise Nation. And it's only like a 30 minute workout class and Paulina said, and I quote, neon lights and lots of rap music. So I was like, all right, we'll go. Um, and then we're gonna like bandier and stuff, but I'm on my way home right now. I need to just clean, do some laundry, and finish up some last minute stuff. I just need to have like a productive night and get some stuff done so that I am I'm literally passing rubble right now. Um, so that I'm able to really chill because I'm gonna have like four or five days in a row basically where I can't just like work work at all really so it's kind of like a mini vacation like but like a staycation for me so i'm just getting some stuff ready for that okay i'm home from the workout i just did a lot of dishes and i put one load in the laundry i have like three loads of laundry to net to do tonight and i really wanted to go to bed early so we'll see what happens currently drinking my last vital protein <laughs> collagen water and i just made I have no groceries and I'm gonna be gone. So like I haven't gone grocery shopping. I literally just heated up like rice and I put avocado in it. Like it's literally the weirdest meal I've ever made, but that's all I had and that's what happens. But I'm so excited because my rug came in from Ruggable. It's gonna go underneath the couch. I don't, you know, I should not do this myself, but I'm going to. So we will see how this ends up working out. This is the before and I'm very excited to show you the after. Ruggable is like actually really, really cool. Um, I'll tell you guys more about them, but basically like you can wash all the rugs and they're like a really good price and I love them. Like I want Ruggable rugs all over my house. I want like in every room, I'm obsessed with them. And this room desperately needs a rug. This looks so cluttered and that looks so cluttered because that has to be plugged in there and it looks so ugly. And then that's just the studio, so anyways. It's gonna be great. Also, I wanna replace this because it's falling apart. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Okay, I'm watching my friend Peyton's vlogs. Yeah. Let me pause her really quick. So the rug is here. I love it. I wanna get like prints for over there to make this room like more mature and stuff. So this is the room. At first I wasn't sure how I felt about the rug and then when I actually like laid it out, I love it. This is the same rug that Olivia Vargas got. Um, unless I ordered the wrong one, but like I actually love it and it would look like amazing with a white couch Which is what she has This also for stuff this needs to be This entire situation needs to be fixed, but I just think it looks so cute I wish that when you look that way it wasn't just you know like that um, See if I would have gotten the right size roll it wouldn't have been that big of an issue I need to throw away these boxes now, but I really like this. I think it's cute it's a little bit messed up because it goes on. Basically, the way this works with Ruggable is that it like Velcro's onto this thing, right? And then you're able to take this off and wash it so it's perfect if you have a dog or like kids or you're just a normal human being who spills things everywhere. But I really like it and I'm very excited. I'm really excited for the new prints over there. I really want to get rid of this clothing rack. I'm actually just going to like throw it away. I don't want it. And that's also colored. Like that has such good memories. Okay, let me show you guys this. I feel like you never really get a chance to see it. But, like, it's just, it's so cute. And we have great, like, just funny things. Like, here's photos of me and Joe. Throwbacks, like, oh my gosh, this is so funny. There's Ryan and Quentin. That's, like, literally so funny. That was our commencement last year, me and Joe walking in the neighborhood. There's some photos of us in, like, New York. This photo's, like, three years old. That was my 20th birthday. That was Christmas break 2016, one of the best things. And then we just have like really nice, like people just leave like nice notes and stuff. This is Jonathan Martin. He's like a great um, pastor in Oklahoma. If any of you guys live in Oklahoma, check him out. Also there's Coke on my 21st. Like it's really good memories, but I just don't know if it's like what I really want anymore. This also needs to get fixed. I'm just like over 
the house not being fixed. I love this. I'm obsessed. I actually love this area. And can we talk about the fact that Joe and I have still, it's really because I don't have the knife for it and I'm just so bad at it, but we still have not fixed these tiles and like, it's ridiculous. Like we just need to finish that. I'm going to make that happen like ASAP, but I absolutely love this. So I just showered and I'm in the middle of doing, it was only two loads of laundry. I guess I was just being dramatic. So I showered, I'm just in sweats and a crew neck. This is how you know I really need to do laundry because I always sleep in matching pajama sets. Like it literally will change your life. If you are looking for a life change, get a pair of matching pajama pants. Anyways, I have Frank Ocean on. I've been playing Frank Ocean a lot lately at night. Um, I actually brought my laptop in my room because I just wanted to have a chill night and I have some stuff that I need to get done. Some like edits and whatever. So I'm just going to hang out in here and get all that done. Um, it's okay. I really don't like doing this that much, but tonight I'm kind of in the mood for it. So it's fine. Coco is going crazy on my white bedding. I know I'm an idiot, um, but I'm in my room. I don't know if I want to play TV or anything. Um, play TV. What? That sounds so weird. Um, but I am getting some work done. Okay, so this is my current situation. Everyone, it is like 6.40 right now. I woke up at 6 to do some laundry because I am going to work out and I needed my outfit from the dryer. Not because I really wanted to do laundry that early. Yeah, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Oh wait, this isn't even a new vlog. I don't know why I'm starting this like it's a new vlog. I forgot that it's just going with yesterday's vlog. I'm just gonna be vlogging the morning today because I'm reuniting with Paulina. Every time PB pops up on my screen, it just feels right. Um, so we're gonna do that and then we're also I'm gonna try out Rise Nation, which is a class that she like loves. It's only a 30 minute workout, so I was like, sure, why not? And then we're going to Bandier, and it's gonna be great. But right now I'm currently pre-uploading a vlog, and then I'm going to head off our class. I, I don't know why I said it was 6.40. It's 7.15, I woke up at 6.30. But um, our class today is at 8.15, but it's in West Hollywood, so I have to drive, and it's gonna be like the worst time for traffic. But I'm listening to the Skinny Confidential episode with Jessica Alba that Michael and Taylor told me I had to listen to today and Kenzie Burke told me to listen to. So I think it's a sign. I think it's just an amazing, she's an amazing gal. I love those people. I feel like I talk about how I love, where's my thumbnail? I think I talk about how I love Skinny Confidential and all of them. Like obviously the podcast, but also just them as people so much like michael has done so much for me like literally the best people ever so all right i'm gonna head off to work out i'm on my way to class listening to music it's such a good drive and an amazing morning i hope you all are having the best life ever because i am I'm really excited for this workout. Um, Paulina and I literally texted each other at like 8 p.m. last night and we're like, are you in bed too? <laughs> Walking in, I'm like gonna die. No, exactly. In the All right guys, we just finished Rise. I have like a list. Rise Nation. I tried to boxing class. I tried to take boxing. I'm going back. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going back. I'm actually coaching and like training and technique. I'm like into it now. It's like basically I'm training as a sport. It's very exciting. It's my new hobby. <laughs> but I went to Rumble the other night. Anyways, that was really good. And I like how it's only a 30 minute workout class. But it's so You know intense. what? You burnt. I, I wore a tracker. I burned 600 calories. Dang. You know what I remembered? <laughs> like yeah. as we were doing this and it was 30 minutes. Do you remember? When we would do Peter's spin class at Bespoke and we would do his lunch break yeah, once for 30 minutes. I love them. Those were, oh my god. 30 like, minute workouts are normally harder. just come in and remember those, there these Asian <sighs> women who like were so, they would like come in their like work attire, yeah. cycle, shower, and be like fully glam. They were, work. yeah, fully glam. They were so incredible, honestly. I wish they would do like three a day. I need to learn, yeah, because we would, sometimes we'd go multiple times and we'd see them. <laughs> I know, I like really want to just catch up and see where they're at now. Peter's in New York. Oh wow. Yeah, I wonder if he's teaching in New York. He probably is. I like, don't follow. Guys, we made it to Coffee Overdose in the new Bandier store. Okay, Other know. stuff. Sav works here, guys. I'm but. Gonna, I'm gonna vlog right Woohoo! It's so cute. Oh, I don't know the oat milk in here. She like left the oat milk. We got our iced coffee with oat milk and mm. CBD oil, yeah. which is very contrary. It's fine though. We are literally at our third cafe in the past 30 minutes. Like, actually, we got. We love diversity. We love diversity. <laughs> we got um, Coffee Overdose coffee. Well, I I wanted to look at that. The, the, oh, that. You should have told her. She would have done it. The anti bitch serum. Yeah, like, like I, I don't agree with this. Like, I love mornings. I don't agree with this. I love mornings. No, I like 
Uh, we literally got iced coffee with CBD. with CBD, so that is really us for you. And then a nice little morning snack. Okay guys, so I'm going to end this vlog here. I had the best morning with Paulina. We literally went to three coffee shops, but we worked out and we just went on like a nice walk on Melrose and it was just amazing. And I'm so excited for Bethel Conference this weekend and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, subscribe, um, comment down below. I just realized I tried to end last night's vlog. Comment down below, Gucci shoes running from your issues if you guys made it this far. And if, and comment on my Instagram for bonus points so I can stalk you guys. Okay, love you guys. Bye.